didn't have anyone to help me or believe in me or to trust me, to advocate for me. So I was in foster care 14, 15 years. It was me going from foster home to foster home. The whole aspect of keeping track of where my siblings were and trying to speak to them was difficult because I'm moving around. I've been in foster care for about 16 years since I was four. I've been taken in and out of my mom's custody since I was about six. I have nine siblings. I'm the youngest girl, but I have two little brothers. For me, it just looked a lot like taking care of my siblings and my family. I'm currently still in foster care because of extended foster care, but it's been eight years. I never went to the same school for more than two years. I moved a lot. You definitely have to learn to be numb so that every time you move, it's not like the end of the world again. <laughs> I was in foster care since I was two weeks old, so 19 years. I think the most challenging thing for me was trying to forget what happened to me before I went into foster care. Just trying to move forward and create a better and more positive future. I was in foster care for about 10 years. As a child, I don't think I coped very well with moving very often. Having to adjust to like new rules, new schools, new everything is hard. Just trying to figure out your self-worth when you're constantly being told that you're not as good or that you're not going to be able to accomplish what everybody else around you can accomplish. One of the issues that I ran into with my foster parent was she was just really old school in the ways that she parented. And I think I had went so long without like a family bond that once I kind of got a part of something, uh, part of me wanted it and part of me didn't. It took me until after I was at least 17 to tell myself that it wasn't my fault. I often blamed myself and would say, well, what did I do wrong and what do I need to do next time? At the time, like I didn't really need tough love, I just needed love. I was homeless throughout high school. Went from house to house or shelter to shelter for like three years until I was able to graduate. I got a full ride scholarship and I came to school. At the age of 18, it was kind of a relief because I came here to college. It was scary to try to figure out, you know, where I'm going to sleep and where I'm going to eat. I didn't really have any guidance. I just, I don't even know how I made it. I got connected to Just In Time when I had initially graduated high school. I did the College Bound event. They gave me a printer, school supplies, a backpack. I just recently finished Bridges to Success, which was a really cool experience. It just helped me connect with a lot of other dudes who were going through some, a lot of the same things that I'm going through. Some other mentors for me that I could really look up to and you know ask questions and just you know talk to and just be myself around and I really appreciated that experience. Our goal is to offer tangible resources that help overcome a current obstacle along with consistent support that a young person needs to become confident, capable, and connected. What I face a lot is like you're, you were in foster care but you weren't from San Diego so you can't benefit from this resource so you don't have access to this resource but just in time. That doesn't matter. All that matters is that I was in foster care and that I want to take the initiative and be successful. Research shows that young people who exit the foster care system are still impacted by ACEs or adverse childhood experiences that they endured before they turned 18. I didn't want to leave my house. I was like upset and I pushed myself to come and I was like, I'm so glad I came here because I'm surrounded with people who actually care about me. I don't feel intimidated or shy when I go into the just-in-time office. I actually feel like this is my comfortable space, this is my safe space to be who I am without feeling judged. In the past year, Just-in-Time assisted close to 800 transition age youth between the ages of 18 and 26, which includes our new North County location. When you walk into the Just-in-Time building, you just feel like home. Everybody greets you, you can have conversations. People want and care to know more about you and how you're doing. And I feel like just that sense of belonging makes participants come back. I feel like they understand us because a lot of them were former foster youth and have experience. Being able to just see all these other figures who, who are also former foster youth and college graduates, and I hope to be able to mentor other youth. With Just In Time, I've been able to fix a couple of mistakes I've made. I've been able to bounce back financially, and I've been able to make a lot of really awesome connections that I wouldn't have been able to make otherwise. Every day we see the impact of hundreds of just-in-time volunteers who fill the most important gaps for our participants. A caring network of coaches, advisors, and facilitators who help us build our capacity as an extended family for the young people we serve. 
Just in Time's Coach Approach to Mentoring empowers volunteers and peers to truly partner with participants, asking great questions to help each one discover their unique strengths and create their own path to reach their goals. My first workshop here was Coach Approach. So then on, that's when I actually started opening up my heart a little bit towards people. It only takes a small step for you to realize that there is a whole other community out there. All you need to do is just open your heart. From like the very first moments of Just In Time, like it's just been so supportive. Our collaborative model of combining relationships and resources helps to create lasting impact in the areas of stable housing, essential education and training, reliable transportation, meaningful employment, financial security, connections to a caring community, greater resilience, and a sense of well-being. Because of Just In Time, I have money saved from FinFit. I have a home, I have a vehicle, I have a source of income. There's just so much. They're not here to judge you. They're just here to see what they can do for you. And I think that's pretty cool. Our lasting impact fulfillment tracking allows us to go the extra mile to prove and improve our services by measuring our durable impact even after age 27 all the way to 35. I am still progressing. I am still in the process of becoming the person that I want to be because I have so much more to learn. I will never stop growing and I will continue to grow through the tools and workshops that Just In Time has given me to learn from. I feel like all the fundamental key components of Just In Time, housing, transportation, stability, it, it all came together with me and it really did provide me just that stability. Right now I'm in the best place that I've ever been, definitely. Just want to keep doing everything I can with Just In Time and hopefully I can pass it on to somebody else who also needs it because I definitely needed it. Just In Time comes just in time. It's perfect. <laughs> so does that mean that was okay and like, not like talking? <laughs>